Falikin is a restaurant located in uh, the region of Jämtland in northern Sweden. I'm the chef at Falikin and uh, I started my career 14 years ago when I started uh, Chef's High School in Åre. All the produce that we serve at Favikin is either from our own production, where we can control things exactly as we want, or from people that we know very well, that we have an ongoing dialogue and a relationship with. I think eating at Favikin should be, and I hope it is, a warm experience, you know, personal experience of service and really good food and high quality food, and also that you sort of re-establish a connection with nature that a lot of people has lost today. And it doesn't have to be wild nature, you know, in foraging and things like that. It can also be like the, the nature that is more close to man, you know, that, that the animals that you serve here, for example, they actually grew up very close to here and, and we seen most of them alive before they became food. It's a tiny team here. It's just me and a couple of other people. So everyone has a large part in actually producing enough plates and food for uh, our customers. And in this process, you know, I just get ideas and I, I don't, I never sit down and come up with a new recipe or write a new menu. It's just things that happen. So a dish can look one way the first week um, and then maybe we run out of one product and we substitute for another. Uh, and then next time maybe we run out of the garnish and we substitute that to another garnish and finally you have a new dish. It's the same seasons as everywhere, but they are very marked. And for us, it's mainly about, during the, the warm months, obtaining a large enough quantity of very high quality produce so that we can, first of course, sustain the restaurant during that time of the year with fresh produce, but also enough so we can actually store for the winter, so we can prepare in different ways uh, products to keep during the months where nothing grows up here. If you can just look at, like, for example, the vegetable part of things, you know, it can be anything from using the natural mechanisms in the plant, the fact that they are um, biennial, most of them, and they uh, store energy in the form of roots, like carrots and swedes and turnips and beets and those things. You know, you can keep those just uh, in sand in a root cellar to keep a slow and, and, and level temperature over the year. You can keep them for a very long time. I think that people will learn a bit from this book about a region that they probably didn't even know existed before and also uh, I think they will get a good understanding of uh, an approach to food which is quite different today from what is the norm in ambitious uh, restaurants. In the book there are recipes but the, the recipes are only to show how the ideas and thoughts behind them are applied. So it's sort of in between a reading book and a recipe book.